Adobe Creative Educators. Welcome to our weekly Adobe Creative Educators show. We're excited to be here with you this week. I see there's a couple people joining in already, but if you're just joining in, please post in the chat where you're joining us from today and what you're teaching. Um, we have a great show for you this afternoon, and we have our very special guest who will introduce herself in a moment, uh, Lexi Hartnett, uh, who is sharing a very special partnership with Netflix. Um, where you will be able to tell your story um, through a contest that we have. So I'll let her share in a moment. But before I do that, I'm just going to check in the chat really quickly. I see Kent has joined us. Uh, we have an educator joining us from India, um, also from Sacramento. Welcome, Bob from Petaluma. And if you're just joining in from Facebook, Twitter, or YouTube, please uh, share in the chat. Um, but if you're new to the show, um, I'm Clara. I manage our educator community programs here at Adobe. And I am joined by amazing co-host and partner in crime, Tanya Avrith. Hey! Oh my god, I'm so stoked for today's show. Uh, Lexi was joking with me like, you're so excited. I'm like, yes, because this is such a great contest. And uh, I think that you and your students are going to flip. And so when we heard about this, we were like, oh my God, Lexi, you got to come on and share with our educator community because this is so awesome for them and for all of our students. So I'm Tanya, introduce yourself, but I'm just going to hand it right off to Lexi. And uh, Lexi, why don't you tell us a little bit about you and what you do at Adobe? We, we're really excited to have you here. Sure thing. Hi, everyone. Super excited to be here today um, with an audience of such diverse and dedicated educators like yourselves. Um, so I'm the campaign marketing manager at Adobe's Gen Create team. Um, so I get the privilege of you know running different campaigns targeted towards our Gen Z audience, or here at Adobe, we like to call them Generation Create. Um, yeah, so my team is tasked with increasing awareness for Adobe Creative Cloud, all the amazing tools that we have, um, and really driving interest for our students and teachers um, to get to know Adobe Creative Cloud. Awesome. And I know there's more people that have joined in, too. Uh, so we have uh, Elizabeth joining us from uh, Lubbock, Texas. Um, Youssef, nice to see you again from Morocco, and Namita from India, so lovely to see you as always, and Preeti from India. So again, if you're just joining in, post in the chat. Um, but Lexi, thank you so much for that introduction and kind of sharing what you work on at Adobe. Um, I know you've shared a little bit about this in your introduction, um, but tell us more about the work that Adobe does with students. And I know um, those who are tuning in and watch the show frequently are very familiar with the work that Tanya and, and I do on the team for educators, but we have a whole other team that's focused on Gen Create and on students. Um, so can you share a little bit more about the work that your team focuses on and how are we leveraging social media and other channels to really showcase uh, student work? Yeah, absolutely. Um, so our team really recognizes that Generation Create or you know our Gen Z audience is truly one of the most creative generations, hence the name, <laughs> Gen Create. Um, but we also recognize that this generation is faced with so many obstacles and pressures, you know, the pressure of social media, um, having to perform well in school, um, and you know, over the past year being um you know, a part of this global pandemic, unfortunately. So we really look to creativity as a way to help young people really allevi alleviate some of those stressors, um, since we know creativity is such a great outlet for that. Um, so our team, you know, tries our best to help students use and find creativity as a way to express themselves, their ideas, um, you know, taking it into account all of those different emotions. and letting them out to the world. Um, so we, we know how powerful how powerful Creative Cloud tools can be um, to help students really express what's going on inside. Um, so we, we also see our marketing channels at Adobe, whether it's social media, like you mentioned, or email, things on adobe.com, um, really as great platforms to uplift and showcase all the amazing um, creative expressions that students are working on and sharing. Um, so we have a lot of different creative challenges throughout the year, um, this one with Netflix being a great example, but 
all of that great creativity and the work that we see uh, the students sharing, we try to reshare that through our channels to really uplift the amazing work that's out there and just let everyone know that it exists and make it you know, as big as we possibly can. Well, I, I love the work that you guys do. I think that it's so relevant and in tune with that generation. Uh, whenever we share it with students, I think it's the, the, the sites, the, the challenges, the really the elements of Adobe that really stick for them. And so you guys are definitely doing such a cool, great job. Um, so I'm so excited for you to be here. When we heard about this contest, we were like, wow, we really need to make sure that there is an awareness with educators as well. Um, because, well, you'll tell more about it, so I won't stop, but I won't, I won't go into it. But I would love for you to share a little bit more about this contest the um, and partnership with Netflix, The Great Untold, um, and also share a little bit about how this idea for this partnership, partnership came about and uh, who can participate and, uh, you know, and how are you eligible. So all those different pieces, we would love for you to share more. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so as I'm sure you know, both Adobe and Netflix are really focused on storytelling in general and finding the next generation of storytellers. Um, so the campaign that we launched um, on Monday of this week called The Great Untold is really based on that simple idea um, that great stories can come from anyone and anywhere. So we're kind of flipping the script on the movie industry and bringing the tools, the talent, the mentorship um, outside of Hollywood, bringing it to the masses. So, um, you know, bringing it to small towns and unexpected places, unexpected people all across the country, um, really on the search for the next big story and the next big storytellers who are ready to share that with the world. So we're super excited. I'm gonna play a quick video that um, really introduces the campaign. Um, and then I'll jump back in to share a little bit more about who's eligible, who can participate, um, and some of those specifics. Wonderful, is this the, the should we play the, the one with the car to start? Um, yes, I think I can click from here. Let's see if this works. Oh, I might need some help. There, oh, there you go. go. Where there do we, we go. find our stories? What about out there? In the borderless, boundless unknown. Down your street. In your world. The place that you call home. Because it's there. In the fun stuff, hard stuff, the waiting for the bus stuff, with the people you know and the things that you do. That great stories are waiting to be found ready to be told by you. So we're hitting the road on a search for someone new and your stories that we can bring to life together with your town and our community as your crew. So creators, wherever you are, with all that you hold, tell us. What's a story only you can tell? What's your great untold? Inspiring. I feel like I'm, I'm like ready to go now with my camera and just there's I, I can imagine for everyone that's tuning in thinking about the stories that they're ready to tell. Oh, it's so epic. What a great like intro to this contest. So tell us more. Um, who's eligible? How do people participate? Yeah, absolutely. Um, so anyone that's 13 and older, um, that's a resident of the U.S. Um, is eligible to submit a story. So I know we have such a global audience here today, um, and unfortunately, due to logistics, re legal reasons, um, especially with COVID, um, we're keeping this limited to the US this year, but super hopeful um, that this partnership becomes a multi-year um, deal with Netflix, um, in which case we'll definitely open up that um, to many more countries in the future. Um, I, I will say this, if you have students, this could be a great project to do with students, even if they can't you yeah. know, participate inside the contest, I still think the criteria around it is so cool. So keep that yeah. in mind as you're watching. 
Absolutely. And um, I'll walk through in just a minute the landing page that has some resources, some tutorials. But I do think, um, you know, even if your students aren't eligible, it would be such a neat project maybe over the summer um, to, to focus on storytelling and what goes into that, you know, story arcs and storyboarding and just the thinking process of like that reflection of what is a story that I can tell and I, I want to share with the world. So I do think um, it really is open to anyone and can be um, kind of reworked into different materials over the next uh, couple months or so. And, and Lexi, if uh, teachers can also participate, right? If it's 13 and above, um, yeah. if teachers want to also tell their story. Yeah, good call out. Yep, anyone 13 <laughs> and over. So teachers are more than welcome. Um, you know, we're, we're really seeing this as creators of all types. So the more, the better. Absolutely. Yes. We have so many amazing teachers who teach media and teach filmmaking. And like, why not? You guys should also participate and have an opportunity to show your kids that you can, you know, create too and get it on TikTok and <laughs> participate as well. Yeah, yeah absolutely. absolutely. And I'm seeing some more great folks um, joining. And I just shared, Timothy, it's great to see you. Thanks for joining us. And Kubin, who joins us every week from South Africa. And nice to see you joining us from Bangladesh. Um, so again, we're sharing more about this um, amazing contest that Adobe and Netflix are teaming up um, for the great untold story. Um, and if you go to uh, whatsyourgreatuntold.com, which we'll share more in a moment, um, be sure to check out all of the um, resources on there and eligibility. Um, Lexi, I'll, I'll hand it off to you. I think there's, um, are we moving on to the create portion now or do you have another video to share? Uh, yeah, I think we can move on to the create portion. I'm happy to to pull up the, the landing page and kind of walk us through some of the, the structure of the contest, if that works. Yeah. Absolutely. And for those who are tuning in, you know that Every show we go through the creative process of define, create, and reflect. So today, defining um, this new partnership and contest we have with Netflix and really the art of storytelling through video. Um, and now we'll move on to the create portion where you'll actually be able to follow along uh, on the resource and then implement it uh, with your own students or on your own for your own professional development. All right. So here we are on whatsyourgreatuntold.com. Um, so again, just a quick overview of what the, the contest really is. We're looking for your unique story. Um, we're really looking for, if you were to kind of condense that down into a 60 second trailer for what would be a longer story. Um, and we'll, we're asking those submissions, um, through TikTok. So using hashtag the great untold and hashtag contest, um, and super exciting, we'll pick three winners based on all the submissions and really um, pair each of those winners with the resources to bring their story to life. Um, so in partnership with Netflix, we're working with some pretty cool talent here um, who will each be a, a mentor that one of the winners will be, um, or you know, each of the three winners will be paired with. So we've got Ryan O'Connell, writer, actor, director. You might know him from the Netflix special series special, um, which is coming out with the second season soon. And then Lynn and David Talbert, um, who have written and produced um, Jingle Jangle on Netflix as well. Um, and then not listed here, but we're also working with um, the director, Nadia Hallgren, who actually directed Michelle Obama's documentary, Becoming and she'll be capturing all of the production and the bringing to life of these stories. Um, and we'll be releasing them kind of as a documentary series um, coming up in the fall. So super excited to, to work with these, you know, amazing um, mentors and talent uh, to really make this as big as possible. And then of course, we'll be incorporating Adobe Creative Cloud tools and all the tips and tricks you can imagine um, to really bring those stories to life in full. So again, how to enter, you can either enter on TikTok. If you don't have a TikTok, fear not. Um, you can click right here and this drives you to another landing page where you can upload your video submission there. Um, a reminder, the contest is open through June 13th. So we've got about four weeks to submit 
those great stories. And then down a little bit further here, we've got um, four different tutorials. Um, they feature both Premiere Pro as well as Adobe After Effects. Um, and they really are, you know, finding different ways using Creative Cloud tools to help your trailer or submission really stand out. Um, so let's take a look at the first one. This is um, using jump cuts, fades, and sound effects to really boost your trailer. All right, so yeah, I think these tutorials um, would be great to you know take a look yourself or to share with your students, um, especially to help them familiarize themselves with um, some of the Creative Cloud tools that we have. I, this is so great, and that's what I was saying. Like, if you can't participate, I think it's still so worthwhile as a contest. Like maybe not a contest, but like as an assignment, as something that you might do with your students. Because like all these tutorials, I mean, this is like a unit ready to go. Uh, so I think this is such a great activity for you to do with your students. I, I see that there's one comment. Um, is, is that the one you were talking about, the TikTok one, Clara? Yeah, about TikTok. Um, and obviously, we're the, for this year, we're um, eligi eligibility is 13 uh, over for US. Um, but for the future, absolutely, and, and being able to use this um, as a as a guide for a project. Yeah, um, for but sure. About TikTok, if you, if you if, Lexi, if I uh, don't have TikTok, yes. So um, if you don't have TikTok, still head to this website, and you can um, click through here to submit now, and it'll take you to this page where you can actually upload your video file right there, and it will be counted as a submission. So. Don't worry if you don't have TikTok. Um, here's your answer. That's great. That's a great uh, um, alternative. But I still think it's really cool to be able to share your work and to have an audience for your work. I think that there's something to be said about that. I love that you're using the platform that so many of our students and so many of that those you know young creators are on. Uh, so go ahead. Sorry. Keep on going. I'm in, I'm amazed. I love it. Oh, good. Yeah. No, we're excited. I, I think I'll just share one more tutorial here just so you can get a glimpse of, you know, the different tools we have. Um, so this one features Netflix's Mindhunter and one of my favorites just to show different color grading and how you can really set a mood with those different colors.
That's awesome. That was so cool. I didn't even know you could do that. <laughs> that I know. Like, no, it reminds me of the light. Yeah, it reminds me of the Lightroom filters where you can, you know, overlay different colors and it makes it such a different vibe. Super fun. Yeah, and then you turn it in vertical. It's so cool. It's these are great tutorials. They're they're seriously so good. We're excited. Um, and then just down at the bottom here, there's a couple frequently asked questions. Uh, feel free to dig around the site, you know, if you do have more questions there. And then um, I would love to just share one more quick video that kind of gets the creative juices flowing and um, maybe will help you with some ideas for stories that you could submit. Here, I'm gonna, I'm gonna add it in now. Wow. So cool. Uh, so cool. I actually have a student that I'm going to send this to as soon as we get off. I'm so Amazing. excited for her. Yes. Uh, this is such a great contest. Yeah. And I, we have some more comments in the chat. Jorge who's joining us. Nice to see you, Jorge. Wow. Great tutorials. Very inspiring. Um, so we're looking forward to seeing what your students create and what you create as well. Absolutely. Get creating. <laughs> Well, we have the link right below. So again, it's whatsyourgreatuntold.com. You can access all of the amazing videos and resources that Lexi shared with us today. Um, but as with every um, live stream show, we end with a reflection question. Um, so this one being very um, timely for the contest um, is what uh, story do you want to tell through video? So no matter if you're using Premiere Pro or Rush or Spark, uh, we want to know what story uh, you'd like to tell. And I, I'd imagine um, we have such a wide variety of uh, perspectives and stories, especially with the pandemic and everything this year. Um, we, we'd love to hear from you. So be sure to share it with us uh, with the hashtag Adobe EDU Creative. Um, but Lexi, thank you so much again for joining us today. Um, anything else you want to share before we end the show? Well, thanks for having me. It's been a pleasure. Um... I think, you know, just think through, take the time to think through what what is a unique story that you have and share it with the world. It really um, is, I think, such an exciting brief to work off of, you know, so open-ended and we're really excited to see uh, the range of stories that comes back. So thank you. Well, thank, you. thank you so much for joining us this afternoon. Uh, or morning for you. And uh, thank you to everyone for joining us. We so appreciate you. We are so grateful for this community and we are so grateful that you join us every single week. We send you our love. Thank you so much. Thanks everyone. We'll see you next week. Bye.